As part of the bio blitz, uh, we're conducting some soil and earthworm surveys. So today we're looking at what kinds of worms live in Ashton Court. There is a, a key, an identification key, which allows you to identify the 12 commonest species of earthworm. And in most habitats, most of the worms you find will be on this field guide. Name. Harmonia exeridis. That's the one. <laughs> yes, well done. That's one of the grass bugs. Um, Leptop turner is its Latin name. This is a great crested newt. Triturus cristatus. There's the list. Very, very big newt. Hard to, hard to mistake this with the smaller species, the palmate and the smooth newt. This is a male. We can tell it's a male by the fact that it's got a crest, but it's slightly flattened at the moment, and this white speed stripe down its tail. I've heard a um, got a wonderful belly on them. For advertising to attract a female. Hi, I'm Chris Saunders from the Institute for Animal Health, and uh, this is our truck trap. Uh, it's basically a large net on top of our of our car, and we drive it around um, at dusk, and it um, collects culicoides, biting midges, and other biting flies. Uh, and things like mosquitoes that are around at dusk. Hi. My name is Aisha. My name is just Jazel. My name's Samantha. My name's Anira. My name's Big. My name's Naima. My name's Bob. And we're all from May Park <laughs> Primary School. He reckons it should be called a wasp snail because it's yellow and black like a wasp. Some people call it like that. You do, don't you? Yeah, some people I do. Do you know what that is? I know what that is. It's just kind That's of a nickname actually, for would it. You <laughs> It's just off the beat all the time. That. <laughs> they're a gleaner specialist. They've, they've got short, stubby wings, so they're quite slow flyers. But it does mean that they can go up and hover at uh, edges and pick off things like flies and spiders. It's all very secret because it's not be telling anybody where it is. Yeah. Um, but most people in the back world and, and TV world. Yeah. Yeah. My name's Henry because I'm actually a teacher in London, but I've come across two Bioblitz to be involved and help uh, to help out with the organisation of it, particularly to encourage the younger people and the children to be involved with nature activities because I think it's really important that if they have hands-on experience, they can actually see what's going on in the world around them. People should come to the Bioblitz because it's fun, it's free, and it's an adventure for the whole family. I'd recommend people come to Bioblitz because look at this gorgeous weather and look at this beautiful place. It's a fantastic way for anybody to become a wildlife detective. You can learn about all the amazing creatures that are just on your doorstep. Because it's great fun to think you're completing a survey of what we've got locally. You find out lots of interesting things, things you didn't know, and it's a nice day out, especially when the sun is shining. There's no other place where you can see so many animals in such a close space have such fun. It's a great day out and you get to know about what's on your doorstep that you may not have known about such as eight bat species, the highlight of I recommend people to come to Bristol Bioblitz because it gives people a chance to learn about biodiversity by actually getting in amongst it and getting hands on. Ten seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! And the number is... 569. Yeah. Yeah. So well done everybody, and it says here as well 55 new species to Avon.